10 simple ways to increase sales page results hey in this video I'm gonna really help you out I'm gonna help you out because we're gonna fix your sales page I'm gonna give you 10 different ways that you can improve your sales page results but before we get started I need you to click that subscribe button down there super important and next to it is a bell okay you got to ring that bell smash that bell then you got to click get all notifications that way you will be notified every single time I do a video and you won't miss a single thing hey if you're new to this channel I'm JR Fisher and I've been selling online since 2009 I've sold digital products and physical products we've done millions in sales and on this channel I share with you exactly how to do it so you don't miss out so you don't have to make some of those mistakes that I made heck my products are sold on thousands of websites including Walmart so check it out survival K food it's out there now let's get started right now so I can show you 10 simple ways you can increase your sales page results also I've got a bonus for you at the end of this video I've got a $97 e-commerce course that's gonna cost you zero because I'm just gonna put the link there and all you can do is click on it and you can watch those videos and get you some free training now let's get going okay so your sales pages are where you're really gonna generate your income and with a few kind of hidden tweaks that people don't know about you can really increase the sales of these pages now what I want to do is go through the top 10 ways to do it so let's get started number one is use a sales page building software now there's a lot of them out there but the problem with most of them out there is that that's all they do they build a sales page and you have to pay for it we use Kartra Kartra will help you build a sales page but it's also a membership site it's also an email provider you know it's also a help desk it has all these other things so you wipe out like eight different pieces of software you normally have to pay for and I've got a special deal for you too in the description I have a link there where you can actually try Kartra out for one dollar so that's pretty good so check that out in the description at the end of this video grab Kartra it'll help you out so much and I've tried so many other ones and this is seriously the best one out there so definitely check it out number two make the page congruent with the offer so if you're advertising and you have a blue sweater and you say click here to get this blue sweater and you send them to a web page that is your home page for all your products you may be thinking well that's what I'm gonna do that way I have a whole bunch of different offers for them but all it does is confuse the person understand if you run an ad for a a blue sweater and they click when they get there they need to see a blue sweater it needs to be the same exact sweater it needs to have the same headline at the top it needs to say the same things because if it doesn't our brain kind of gets jumbled and says oh I don't want to be here I'm clicking off so that will kill your sales so number two is make that page congruent now number three is have a headline that solves a problem that is so so very important a great headline would be you know 10 ways to lose 10 pounds in 14 days for you know new mothers okay so people or women who just had a baby okay so 10 ways to lose 10 pounds in 14 days for new mothers that's very specific and that's what they want they don't want your product understand nobody wants a product nobody wants a book nobody wants a PDF they want the results of what your products gonna do for them so make sure that headline actually spells out the benefit of what your particular product is number four keep it simple you know we overthink this way too much and we take these sales pages and we make them super super long and there is a place for a long form sales page but generally speaking the more simple that page is you know a plain white background with you know red or green or blue text or black text on it is really all you need and you'll find if you test this that those simple sales pages do far better than those really super complicated ones because it, it, it makes the people you know look in all different directions and if you have a simple page and it's offering a product and it's normally 1995 and they can buy it for 595 and their only choice on the page is click here to buy you're gonna get more sales but if you have you know different pricing levels and you have different colors and all these different things on there it's gonna confuse the prospect and you're not gonna have the sales you want from that sales page number five and I kind of alluded to this before but only have one product available on your sales page don't offer you know four different versions of that particular product if you just have one product on that sales page and they've clicked to come to that page for that one product or they saw the social media post or the video about that product you're more likely to sell them than if you have a whole bunch of different choices on the page 
and number six is offer them volume and here's what I mean by that you could have one at 995 or three at 2995 or five at whatever price you want but offer them all these different pricing levels and then give them a reason for that you know let, let's say it's a, a book it's a physical book and you may say underneath the you know the, the buy 10 buy them for your friends and family as gifts so you give them a reason to buy these multiples if you don't offer them multiples on that checkout page you will find that you're only going to sell one of whatever it is if you just offer multiples of that product the same product more of the same we call it you're going to sell more of that product pretty cool tip number seven is give a guaranteed satisfaction refund policy if people think that you have a good product but they don't see a refund they don't see a way to get their money back if they're dissatisfied they're probably not going to buy from you now you may be thinking well I don't want to put a refund on there because I don't want to refund people's money but the problem is you're going to be hurting your own business because you won't be selling as many of your product that refund is super important it takes the pressure off the consumer and allows them to whip out that credit card and go ahead and buy your product so make sure you have a refund policy now make sure it is specific so you may say in their 100% refund no questions asked for 30 days they know exactly what it is and it makes it really easy for them to buy because they have to worry about it and what we found is longer refund policies actually don't increase refunds but they do increase sales so you may toy around with a 30-day refund policy and a 60-day refund policy generally the 60-day refund policy will increase your sales and not increase your percent of refund so try that out refund policy super super important to have that when your checkout page number eight use urgency on the page now urgency could be something like this sale is for five days or 72 hours and you can have a countdown timer on that page if they think that this product that's on sale is gonna be on sale forever you know what is the motivation to go ahead and buy it now there generally is no motivation to buy it now if it's gonna be on sale forever so you want to make sure that you have some type of urgency on that page you could also use urgency of supply and what I mean by that is you know we've got 90 of these at this price or we've got 14 of these left and you could have that on the page so let them know it's not unlimited and no product is unlimited okay at some point that product is gonna sell out whatever it is and you're gonna have to get more of them it's okay to sell out and then get more and then run your sale again that's all right you could do that number nine use bright colors a lot of times I'll go to these pages and I'll see really dark colors and black backgrounds and this does not motivate somebody to buy a product so I would highly suggest use bright colors if you think of some of the top fast food chains like Burger King Taco Bell McDonald's they all pretty much use the same colors they've got the yellow and they've got the red and they've got the white so check it out those colors really motivate people to buy and if those big corporations have figured it out just kind of copy what they're doing doing and number 10 you want to protect their privacy and the way you do that is you post on there whenever they're filling out their information that you don't share their information uh, we put a little line on there that says we hate spam too and we don't share your information with anybody you know privacy has become such a big thing right now with people online it wasn't like that you know a few years ago in the very beginning it was nobody would put on a credit card and then everybody got accustomed to putting on their credit card and put their name and all their information and then this privacy thing blew up so it's super important to let them know that you're not sharing their information and of course that you don't share their information that's super important too you do keep it private and you do what you say you're gonna do make sure you also have a privacy policy on your page that if they're interested they can click on it and read it that's really important too so if you follow these 10 simple ways to increase your sales page results you will make more money and increase your profit why wouldn't you do that now have you built sales pages before or are you new to this I want to hear your comments below what have you found that works if you've got a technique that works and you put that comment below you're gonna help out more people and they will appreciate it now don't forget don't forget if you haven't done it subscribe to my channel click that button down there and ring that bell that little notification bell down there you gotta ring the bell because if you don't ring the bell if you don't turn on notifications YouTube can't tell you every time I do a video you may miss out on some training and it could cost you some money so make sure that you do that that's super important don't forget also like this video the more likes the better I really appreciate you listening and I also have that bonus for you check out in the description down there there's a $97 e-commerce course you can get absolutely free all you got to do is click the link 
Thanks so much for listening and I'll hey, see you in the next video. thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.